this is the first tutorial on using the switch. The switch enables your robot to make a decision to do one of two things depending on the condition of a sensor. Um, a switch is almost always used inside of a loop. Otherwise the switch should only be read once. So this switch is going to make the robot go if the touch sensor is pushed and stop if the T touch sensor is not pushed or re released. First we put out the loop. We usually always put the loop out first and then put other things inside of the loop. The loop is the structure. Next we're going to put the switch which is the other part of the structure. And If you notice it goes where the white square is. So we have a touch sensor on port 1. We want the robot to go if the touch sensor is pushed, so we're going to drag a move block for the push condition, and we're going to set this to unlimited. But if the touch sensor is not pushed, we want the motors to stop. So we'll drag B and C to the released condition and push stop. So try this.